What's up guys? Another review. This is on something I got from eBay. Um, it's, I think, really cool and interesting concept. Uh, I'm sure this technology has been around for just many, many years, but uh, I actually just recently saw this and I, uh, <laughs> I had to get it. Okay, so what this is, is it's a little glow-in-the-dark keychain. Now, uh, you might be asking yourselves, well, what's so special about it? Well, it works with, um, well, it works with a process called radioluminescence. So how this works is this has a clear plastic casing on the outside and then inside, yeah, you might be able to see that. On the inside, there's a smaller glass tube that the inside outer surface of the of the glass tube, if that made any sense, is covered with phosphorus. Um, or phosphorus or some other compound of phosphorus, but um, it's some it's, uh, some compound of phosphorus. And also in the little glass tube on the inside is tritium gas. Now tritium gas is radioactive. It gives off beta particles, which are electrons, just free electrons, just shoot out and it undergoes beta decay. Now when those free electrons hit the phosphorus coating on the inside of the glass tube, um, those free electrons, beta particles, excite the electrons in the phosphorus. And those electrons move up an energy state. And then when they go back down to their ground state, they emit light. So that's why this glows in the dark. You don't need to hold it under light. You know, it doesn't need to absorb any light to emit because it works with the radioactivity of tritium. Now tritium's half-life is just over 12 years, so that means in about 12 years there's going to be half the tritium gas left inside. It's going to, in a bit over 12 years, it's going to decay. So it'll be half as bright in 12 years, and then you can go on from there. So, but I thought this was really cool. Now it's not very bright. I've seen pictures of this on the internet where it's just glowing just ridiculously bright and those are those photos are <laughs> not a good representation at all. Those are just way overexposed. Um, the actual light emitted from this is quite low, so if you're expecting this to <laughs> be some kind of HID light, it's not. But you can definitely see it at night. I mean um, it's definitely visible. You're not going to be reading a book with this or anything like that, but I just thought it was a really cool novelty item. Thought I'd share it with you guys. So, uh, if you have any comments, you know what to do. Thanks for watching.